Another way you can go through the major scale shapes that wrap around the caged chords is with hammer-ons and pull-offs. So I'll pick the string, and then I'll do two hammer-ons. So I actually don't pick the first fret and the third fret right there, I'm just pressing down hard enough to make the notes activate. Okay, and the same thing on the fifth string. Hammer-on, 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 hammer-on. We only have one hammer-on on the third string, and then two hammer-ons on the second string, and two, uh, two hammer-ons on the first string. Now going backwards, we're actually, it seems like I'm flicking the string, but that's not really it. To kind of, um, a good way to get it going is press down just a little bit harder on the fret before you let go, and then it'll usually activate the pull off. Let go. After a while, it'll be pretty easy to play, and you don't even need to pick it. All right, so. We'll have uh, two pull-offs in the first string, two pull-offs in the second string, one pull-off in the third string, two pull-offs in the fourth string, two pull-offs in the fifth string, and two pull-offs in the sixth string.